Hi guys, welcome to Exam Debug. This is Chris McKenna here. Uh, we're continuing on with object-oriented programming and um, classes. And what we want to do now is we've covered most of the basics. In fact, we've covered a, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and we are going to go back later and fill in more precise details. Um, but I think now what you need is a real practice. So uh, what I'd like to do is for you to try and using object-oriented programming and using all the things you've learned so far, uh, work together and work together, if you're, you can work together if you like, uh, work and try and make a text adventure game. Now, uh, these come from back when computers were kind of early on, before the days of Skyrim and uh, Fallout 4. And instead of having visuals, you just had a story text like this here. So this is on a website, playtextadventures.co.uk. Um, feel free to explore that. Uh, now, this is obviously quite a fancy one, but we're more looking at just this central section here. Okay, um, and we're going to keep our options very limited. This one's quite open, it's quite complex. Yours, well, obviously, if you want to do it more complex, you can. But um, this one is, is maybe a simpler version. Let's go with that. Okay, so you've got the text. You're going to have a bit of a story. And then the person reading it has to read your story and you're going to give them some options that they can do. Like, for example, uh, da -da -da. okay, I, I, maybe I can say like go east. Okay, so I can type in different things here and it's going to react and give me the rest of the story as I add in my different things. Now, for your one, what I'd like you to do is keep it simple. Um, only give the user specific options for now. I mean, later on, if you want to make it more advanced, that they can do funny things, but you're going to get bogged down in uh, hours and hours of work there. So in this case, it might just say, go east, go west, or give them just a few options to pick from rather than too much. Okay, and don't worry so much about this stuff being displayed on the screen. That's not going to happen. You're just doing it in your Python entirely um, but you know you can have things for your character you can have um, you know spells and stuff if if you want to go down that road of complexity but I would say start keep it simple and then build in it from there so the first thing I'm going to do in the, the next video I'm going to show you is I'm going to start maybe by doing something sort of similar to this section here of course the player is not going to see it right off but what I mean is I'm going to create a character class and that character class is going to keep the information um, and the different things that my character can do. Now I'm going to keep mine simple and straightforward, but please feel free to go crazy and make it as complex as you like for your own. Okay. Um, so like I said, try it yourself first, at least try and get the character uh, class working. Um, and then I'll give you the next bit after the next video and um, good luck any questions post them below